storage video like about my whole makeup collection actually just about this rack behind me it's been a requested video in the past but I've been a little in intimidated to put a full length you know whole makeup collection video up so I thought I would break it up into pieces because I have drawers in some areas I have baskets in other areas and then I have this thing behind me so because this is a fixture that I haven't seen in many if any others makeup collections I thought I would start with that first so um, let me just tell you a little bit about this rack that you see behind me I'll put a link to the exact name of it down below because I can't think exactly what it was but I got it at Home Depot and what I was looking for initially was a nail polish rack and that that big white set of drawers that from Ikea that everybody has to keep their makeup in and they seem to love it I thought I wanted something like that. I wanted a, a storage option for my nail polish and something along those lines, but both of those were a little outside my budget. I just wanted to spend as little as possible, and so when I went to Home Depot, I stumbled across the rack you see behind me, which is actually about, I want to say, six feet tall. So, because that's too tall for, or too tall to be practical, I get, didn't want to be reaching up to the top rack or getting a you know, chair or a ladder or anything. I had them cut it at Home Depot. So I actually have it separated into two racks. One, as you'll see, is the top three kind of shorter. And then this one that you see behind me has one, two, three, four, five tiers. And these here have a little bit more room between them. So they're, they're good at storing different things as you'll soon find out and one of the nice things about it in addition to holding a wide variety of products due to the the spacing in between the racks and you know the width of everything is the price I it was less than fifty dollars I want to say it was around the 42 realm um, and I think it could just be very practical for everyone regardless of how much makeup you have because I acknowledge that I have far more than the average uh, the average person it will in their bathroom or wherever it is they keep their makeup so I think though this is a very practical option for anyone regardless of what you want to store whether it's shampoo or body wash or self tanner as you'll see like I have or makeup so let's get into it so starting with these bottom racks and what you can see directly behind me when I film you can see here there is more space in between the this and the top so I keep taller products here obviously I feel like that makes sense here I have some hair products, some of which I'm using, some of which I'm waiting to use, and it's kind of, you know, just where I keep things that are both on the back burner and in use. Here I have some self-tanners that aren't in use because I'm currently using Jergens, and then here I have nail polish remover and uh, brush cleaner, some Scandinavia stuff, and then I keep hair clips here because I just find it super convenient to keep them clipped on there. This next rack up, I've just zoomed you in here, and you can see that I keep eyeshadow palettes. Here's like an Urban Decay section. There is a Makeup Forever Flash palette. These are balm palettes that I have, and then here is like a uh, Coastal Scents palette, my Jenny Rivera palette, the Sigma Resort palette, and then here is where I keep nail treatments and top coats. Like here I have pink gel coat and, you know, OPI start to finish, uh, Butter London matte top coat, just general top coats, obviously, and of sorts. Something else I wanted to point out about these racks is that I have this paper here. I actually had to line some of these that I keep um, smaller items like nail polish on. I had to kind of hand cut some poster board and put it down here. Otherwise, these here on the side would fall off and down, and I don't want anything breaking here. So I just, it was super easy. It's not precise at all, and you really can't see it at all. I don't think you'd know it was there unless I pointed it out to you here. Um, but this, I, I had, had to hand stick in just so things wouldn't fall out the side. Not necessary, obviously, as you could see in the rack that I just showed you below. It's not, does you don't need it for larger items, but for smaller things like nail polish, I thought it was just a necessity so we didn't have to worry about things falling out the side. So here are the top three racks you can see where I keep nail polish and right up here is actually where they cut it. There are three more racks that go on top of this that have this more narrow spacing here but that's where I asked them to cut it because beyond that it just got, as you can see, to be a little bit more of a reach than I would want if I were to use the products on here. Uh, every day, which is what having something like this was all about for me, was making everything visible and accessible. So I had them cut it, and this is, you know, the remaining top half of it, which you can see is where I keep nail polish. And here you can see is that white cardboard that I stuck underneath to keep things from falling out the side. So now I'm going to zoom you in so you can see my nail polish is in a little bit more detail. All right, so after having zoomed you in, I realized you probably still won't be able to see that much anyway, so I'm just going to give you a brief overview of how I have it arranged, which as you could probably guess is according to the rainbow. Starting red, orange, yellowy gold, green, blue, and then you 
come down here. Either I have blue into purpley, violet, magenta, and then here I have blacks, glitters, things of that nature. And then on the very top row I have newer polishes that I'm still waiting to swatch or test or um, yeah, just kind of random shades. So now let's move on to the next rack. Now these are the top three racks that I had them splice and they are holding foundations, both cream, powder, um, what else, tinted moisturizer, primer, things like that. And then you can see on the top that I have palettes. So now I'm gonna zoom you in. So on this bottom row, you can see that I have powder foundations here, setting powder. There's this, the It Cosmetics powder foundation, the Makeup Forever powder foundations there as well. But I also keep translucent setting powder, like here is the e.l.f. Under Eye HD powder. Here is where I keep primers, like the Pixi primer. Here's a Smashbox color correcting primer, things of that nature. And then these are summer foundations. And by summer, obviously, I just mean that they are darker so that I can, I don't have to wade through summer or winter liquid foundations that are up here. I just know in general what kind of tone they're going to be. So those are summer foundations. So here's the second row and starting on the left I have all the shades of the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Mousse Foundation. I think that's what they're called and I don't know why I keep these separate. Um, probably because I have all the shades. They I got them from the, when I did the Allure competition um, and I think I just keep them there because they that's they're all together uh again next to the photo ready also from revlon then these are highlighters some of them are powder some of them are cream you can see i have the my couture um like sheet things along with like liquid highlights like this one from buxom so just a myriad of highlighters there and then like i said before when i was talking about my summer foundations below. These are the lighter winter foundations and they are everything, well, they're mostly liquid, I would say. There's this Revlon whipped, but most of them are liquid. Let's move to the last rack. So this is the last shelf of this whole rack. And again, here I keep eyeshadow palettes or palettes in general, I guess, because I have, I think my Too Faced face palette here. Yeah, the Natural Face palette. I have some Stila palettes and this, I guess the distinction between this rack and the other is that the other one contains palettes that I kind of want to use, keep at the forefront for, you know, tutorials I have in mind or things like that. But these happen to sit right in front of where I film. So I look at them as I film. So they are, it's just nice to see them out because before I had this, they were all stored in an area where I just couldn't see them that frequently. And so I found that some were getting neglected. Um, while others I was using all the time. So now I'm able to have all of them out and kind of at the ready and I can see them as I'm putting makeup on to get a good feel for what shades I have and what I, you know, have at my disposal to use at the time. So that's pretty much the main reason why I love this setup is because I can see everything. So yeah, and here you can just see, like I said before, Stila palettes, there's an e.l.f. palette, a Pixi palette, here's a the 10 blush palette from Coastal Scents or BH, I forget who it is in the back. I have a few Z palettes here. Um, yeah, Lorac. That's pretty much it. So in case you guys saw something you wanted to see a video on, please let me know in the comments section.